More on this with the political panel. They're practicing their best lines. They're standing by for debate analysis. What both candidates have to do coming up right after the break. Short intro here. We are less than 48 hours away from the battle at Hofstra University. Need I say more? Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump one on one for 90 minutes. I don't know if these two guys will be as exciting as that, but we're going to try. Radio talk show host, member of the Virginia House of Delegates, Mark Levine. Amos Sneed is a partner at S3 Communications, Public Affairs, former spokesman to House Republican Whip Roy Blunt. Gentlemen, uh, nice to see you here. Kind of an interesting weekend we have going on here. If no other reason, then you have Donald Trump's out at a rally in Roanoke, Virginia, saying, hey, look, I'm going to go with my gut here. Hillary Clinton, meantime, at her home, locked down in New York, prepping. It kind of is a metaphor for the larger race. I actually think it is a metaphor. I think Hillary Clinton is a very prepared person. Anything that comes her way as president of the United States, she's going to study in detail. She's going to understand everything about it. She's going to work hard on it. And Donald Trump is a seat of the pants kind of guy. He'll wing it. He'll wing it through the presidency. He'll wing it through the debate. That's who he is. So, so, so far, winging it's worked pretty well for him, though. Well, it has. And I think one of the reasons it has is because I think too often people print what he says without checking to see whether it's true. And I think one of the important roles of the moderator will be to say, hey, Donald Trump, when you say Ted Cruz's dad killed Kennedy, you know, that's not true. When you say Obama the, was born the, in Kenya, Is that the job that of the moderator or is that the job of Hillary Clinton? I think that's the job of Hillary Clinton, Leland. And if you look at this, I think Monday night in Hofstra is going to be much watch TV. It's like an SEC football game, a monster truck rally, the Super Bowl, all wrapped into one. I mean, I think everybody that follows politics and even people that don't, can't wait for this debate. And if you look at it, even how they're preparing, I think Hillary Clinton's team knows this is hers to lose. To that end, though, you, you do see the Trump people really downplaying this and really setting expectations very low for Donald Trump. Is there a danger in that? I don't think so. I mean, if you look at it, if you're the RNC, if you're Trump's team, you have to look at Hillary Clinton and know that she's been preparing for this moment literally the past 20 years. And if you look at Donald Trump, I don't even know if he knew he was going to run for president two years ago. And he's been, how do you prep to be Donald Trump? Everything he's been doing, and as you may say, winging it, has been working on the campaign trail. This is kind of something interesting. And who knows whether this is Trump winging it today on Twitter or whether he planned this. But here is his latest tweet. If dopey Mark Cuban, a failed benefactor fame wants to show up and sit in the front row, the front row of the debate, and that is perhaps a rumor going around that Mark Cuban will be there. Perhaps I will put Jennifer Flowers right alongside of him. Well, I don't know if there's going to be any audience cutaways, but wow, would that be interesting. You know, I, Donald Trump does not appreciate that Mark Cuban offered $10 million to a charity of his choice if Donald Trump would simply turn over his tax returns. The oh, way th th that's, a, that's a great right-hand turn, Mark. That's just not what we're talking about. No, but that's why he doesn't like Cuban. I understand that. So he's, he's going to you know, try to attack any way he can. He, he, he doesn't like Mark Cuban, but really the, the idea of putting Jennifer Flowers in the front row of the debate, this is... It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen? No. I think you're looking at this right now. He knows how to get under the Clinton team's skin. And even with this tweet, you know, two days before the debate, I think it's a preview. Again, it's why it's, I think, going to be the most watched political debate we've ever had in presidential history. I agree ratings will be high. Yeah. <laughs> well, and we all know that Donald Trump's likes high ratings. So That's right. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens from there. Uh, gentlemen, appreciate you guys being Thank here. Uh, we'll pleasure. come back next weekend and dissect it, see which one of you guys was right. Let's do it. Thanks, we'll, we'll fellas. We'll be here. All right. There you go. Liz? All right. Great debate. And for more insight into